live, I can't really watch because I am driving. I'm gonna do some trails. I'm gonna do some trails with the dog. Hold on, let me. Um, I can't read your comments right now, so don't feel that you're snubbed. But we broke a huge story thanks to a, a person who called in yesterday, and I was able to confirm that it's true. The, the fake news media is trying to lay the blame for the horrific terrorist attack in Portland, and it is terrorism. They're trying to lay blame on the, um, this attack. They're trying to blame Trump and Trump supporters and everything and this culture or climate that Trump's created. So we were investigating, and there's a lot of things going, going on here. One is that the media, they're so quick to try to frame Trump supporters, and that is one reason that's creating this hostile, toxic environment towards the fake news media. Anything happens, can they blame Trump supporters? That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna blame every Trump supporter. So we did our investigation and our research, and we have some very troubling, very, very troubling reports. Um, one is that the Trump supporters called the police on Jeremy Christian. We have confirmed, I, I've confirmed this now with multiple sources. So Jeremy Christian, if for those of you who don't know, he's a terrorist in Portland who it isn't even fair for me to blame Bernie people for it. If you read his social media posts, he was at one time a Bernie Sanders person, another time a Jill Stein person. One time he said he was gonna kill all Trump supporters and then another time he said that he wanted to join Trump's Hitler army, right? So the guy is just completely unstable. He's liked everybody and the media, of course, they're, they're only zooming in on one screen cap rather than telling the whole story, and that is why they're fake news, and that is why Cernovich Media is real news. So he's just, he's a mentally ill person. That said, he did attend a free speech rally. There was a rally in Portland called the 82nd Annual, or the 82nd Street Free Speech Rally held in Portland. I've spoken to multiple event organizers. Jeremy Christian crashed it threw up Hail Hitlers and was dropping N-bombs. The Trump supporters kicked him out. I repeat, and I have posted this video. You can go into my Twitter timeline and find this video for yourself. Trump supporters actually kicked this person out. They said, look man, we don't want any of that nonsense around us. If you want to hail, drop N-bombs and throw up Nazi salutes, you got to get the F out of here. And they literally kicked him out. The and then they, they were investigating him more and it turns out that the guy admitted that he was running a PSYOP. He admitted that he was false flagging Trump supporters and trying to frame Trump supporters to make them look bad. But again, he's mentally ill, so we want to be very careful on how we, much we politicize it. In my view, this is not a murder that can be blamed on the Democrats. Many, many, many crimes, in fact, most crimes can be, bl can be blamed on the left. Pedophilia can be blamed on the left. This murder, horrific crime, is not, you can't blame this on the left. The guy was just a head case and, but he was purged by Trump supporters. Now here's what is disturbing, and I again, I've confirmed this in multiple sources. Trump supporters reported Jeremy Christian to the Portland police, and they chose not to act. So here actually is my theory, and I'm developing this theory with evidence. So we know for a fact that the Portland police refused to act on tips that were sent to them by Trump supporters. This is 100% fact, okay? It cannot be refuted. Trump supporters called the police and say they said, Jeremy Christian is threatening us. Now the plot is thickening. If I could read your comments, I bet you a lot of you are connecting the dots. But like I said, I got my eyes on the road. So I bet you, if I were reading the comments, you're saying, oh, wait, hold on, I, we know what happened. So Trump supporters reported Jeremy Christian to the Portland police. But the Portland police do these stand down orders that they have in liberal towns. They said, oh, you know, Trump supporters are calling the police for help. Ha ha ha. We don't care if Trump supporters are victimized. We don't care if Trump supporters have a bike lock hit under them. We don't care if Trump supporters are pepper sprayed and hit with sticks over the head and hit with bats and shot. We don't care. Oh, so, so the Portland police thought, oh, well, Trump supporters are calling us. LOL, I hope this guy kills them. 
So because of the stand down orders that have been issued in all these liberal police departments, the Portland Police Department did not act on the tip sent to them by Trump supporters because they wanted the Trump supporters, they wanted the Trump supporters to be murdered. They wanted the Trump supporters to be killed. And then because of that, they refused to act, refused to do their jobs. They refused to investigate their tips. And then because of that, two innocent people were murdered in cold blood, knife attack, horrific. So if, if we want to blame people, which isn't always helpful, but if we want to find out what went wrong and how can we avoid this from happening again, well, here's what went wrong. The Portland Police Department are responsible for these two murders. Cernovich Media can report. It's been confirmed by multiple sources. If we, I'm, I'm not going to blame Bernie people. I'm not going to blame Jill Stein people. I'm not going to blame Trump people. I'm not going to blame the alt-right, which allows people to come to their events and throw neo-Nazi salutes. They're, the only blame for this discreet event is the Portland Police Department. They refused to act on the tip that was sent to them by Trump supporters. And again, that is because the Portland Police Department, like Seattle, like Los Angeles, like San Jose, like Chicago, like Berkeley, like New York, like every other major liberal enclave, they refuse to investigate and take action when a Trump supporter is actually calling because they're a crime. So in this case, that policy, and I always said that was going to lead to very bad, very bad outcomes, that policy of standing down when Trump supporters call the police on them led to the death of two innocent people. Now, will this story ever be told by the fake news media? Of course not. The fake news media, and by the way, I have screen, I just, I wanted to give you guys an advanced, um, advanced warning of it because whenever I, whenever I post a link to my story and I say, I'm going to have a story and I tell people, you know, here's my, um, YouTube, a lot of people accuse me of trying to use, you know, tragedies to get subscribers. And the answer to that is no, but I want the maximum amount of people to get the news. I want, I don't use anybody for subscribers, but I do want the maximum of number of people in the world to get the truth. I want 10 million YouTube subscribers. I want 100 million people reading me because that's 100 million people who are learning the truth. And right now, Cernovich Media is the only place where you can find out the truth. We actually broke this story last night. All credit goes to the young man who called into the show yesterday. Some of you watched my show live and he heard him when he called in breaking news. See, he called in with this story and I go, man, you know, sounds plausible, but let me confirm it, let me fact check it because I fact check on like the fake news media. And I fact check it and I concluded he had told the truth. Jeremy Christian was a homicidal maniac. He isn't affiliated with any political group. He's just a lunatic who's going to, to kill for, for any reason, right? He could have been could have been any justification. He just wanted to kill. Now the issue again is the Portland Police Department allowed these murders to happen. The Portland Police Department allowed these murders to happen. They are the people who are responsible for the terrorism because they refused to do their jobs merely because it was a Trump supporter who called it. So if that is the truth, I'm going to develop this story more. Again, I've talked to people. I've seen screen caps. I've seen Facebook messages. I even, I looked at the YouTube videos when they were posted, right? So it, this isn't the case where people Photoshop screen caps to cover up. This is the case where you can go back to the event page from you know four weeks ago whenever it was you can go back to the original social media page you can go back to the original YouTube and find the videos in real time where they purge this person right so what happened in Portland was avoidable the Portland Police Department have a lot of questions to answer so I think tomorrow because that you know they're closed today Tomorrow, I'm gonna to post their phone number on a Periscope. So the plan is tomorrow, we're gonna to call the Portland Police Department and ask them why they refuse to investigate Jeremy Christian. 
Why did the Portland Police Department stand down? Did they refuse to investigate Jeremy Christian because they have a policy or custom of ignoring all crime tips that are against Trump supporters? That's my hypothesis. My working hypothesis is that the Portland Police Department said, oh great, more Trump supporters are going to get hit with bike locks. This is amazing. We're going to leave this Jeremy Christensen guy alone. That way he can go kill some people, kill some Trump supporters. But in this case, you know, he didn't actually kill Trump supporters. He killed a couple of liberals. And the message there should be clear to the liberals who watch me and, you know, the fake news people. You might think it's a good idea to let the police ignore crimes against Trump supporters. But in this case, by ignoring violent threats against Trump supporters, the Portland Police Department had two of your team murdered. Is the blood on your hands? If Is the blood on the hands of the fake news media for refusing to cover the violence against Trump supporters? Is blood on the hands of the fake news media for refusing to hold these police departments accountable for issuing stand-down orders when violence is initiated against Trump supporters? I would say 100% that the deaths that happened in Portland are attributable to the Portland Police Department and they're attributable to the fake news media for covering up violence against Trump supporters, for covering up these stand down orders that are common in liberal police departments, and for trying to incite violence against Trump people. And indeed, the fake news media is trying to incite yet more violence against Trump supporters by trying to frame us for this Jeremy Christian guy. Again, don't take my word for it. Go on to my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash at Cernovich. Go watch the YouTube video where they kicked him out. This guy, Jeremy Christian, tried to join a Trump rally, and he was throwing Hail Hitler's and Nazi salutes and dropping in bombs and the Trump people said, you're out of here. You're gone. Get out of here. Go find it. So anyhow, I'm going to get going. I'm going to go take my dog for a nice hike. Here's Julius. He's over here. We're at a stoplight. So I'm going to get going. Be sure to hit the like button, to subscribe, and also share this video. I kept, I'm keeping it short so you can share this video and let people know three things. Jeremy Christian was a mass murderer being used by the Portland Police Department to harm Trump supporters. But in this case, he killed liberals. Two, the fake news media is responsible for this by inciting violence against Trump supporters and by refusing to hold police departments accountable for issuing stand-down orders and allowing violence against Trump supporters to happen. Three, this Jeremy Christian guy had been purged on video. Nobody wanted anything to do with them. Thanks for tuning in. Mike Cernovich, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Enjoy your Sunday.